Hey everyone, so I'm back again with yet another Thin Strip video. Yes, I did just make one, so there's a reason I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Uh, last uh, video I made on that Thin Strip option works great, but it does involve moving the fence on your table saw every time you need to reset and make another cut for a Thin Strip. I figured that's really going to take a lot of time with the amount of Thin Strips I need to make. Uh, by the way, big project coming up where it involves a thousand pieces. So, anybody want to take a guess as to what that might be? Let me know down below. So anyway, I came across another video on uh, Colin Cadet's channel where he has a great option that doesn't involve resetting the fence every time. I figured that's going to save me a lot of time in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and make his version. You can check out his video down in the link below. I'll, so I give him full credit for that as well. So we're going to take some scrap wood here, just honestly, just really scrap wood laying around the shop right here. And uh, we'll get this knocked out real quick. So let's go. So now that we got the jig pretty much built, the first thing we need to do is uh, cut off the excess because there's just no need to have uh, the rest of that there. I'm going to cheat and use the thin strip that I used to uh, make on the last video and use it as a spacer to get the correct spacing in here. And once that's set, we can turn it on, make a pass here. Again, that will cut off the excess, and then we can start making strips. And of course it helps when you have the blade set at a correct height. But from this point, now all we have to do is just butt a, your piece of wood up. Again, I'm using the same uh, scrap piece I was using on the last video, just something I have laying around, some walnut, which I am going to be using anyway on the future project. So this is going to come in handy. Uh, but now you just butt it up against here and keep making cuts. No need to keep moving your fence. So let's give that a try.
wow that method works so much better so much faster than the the method i did last week not to put that one down every method has its own you know time and place for its use this one is just going to be great for spitting out those pieces much faster and again i got to make a lot of them hint, hint, has anybody made a guess as to what i'm going to make with a thousand pieces be interesting to see if y'all come up with anything so lastly love to thank uh, colin cadet for sharing his video and giving me this idea to make my process move a little bit faster of course i just wanted to make my own video to help spread the word to everybody else out on youtube but again full credit goes to colin cadet for sharing his so hope you all enjoyed this video uh if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos thanks again for watching Bye bye